what's up my people welcome back to the channel so all i'm asking you guys for is just to give a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber click the top bell icon after you subscribe so you get notified when anything new is on the channel so as usual my people i have some things that i'm gonna share with you guys so with no further delay let me get into the first thing right i remember people like the video right saint mary pasta missing g-u-n found in portland three men are now in custody following the seizure of two glock pistol and 22 rounds of ammunition in separate incident in portland one of the weapons recovered reportedly belonged to a St. Mary pastor who had reported it missing. The Jamaica Constabulary Force-led operation took place on Sunday and Tuesday. The pastor stolen GUN was reportedly recovered was in Be Bybrook in West Portland. Reports are that a snap raid was carried out in Shoeberry, Portland about 10.45 a.m. on Sunday. A man from the community was taken into custody after a Glock 23 pistol with a magazine and 13 9mm cartridges was reportedly found in a black suitcase in a bedroom occupied by him. We passed that with machine. Pastor not supposed to have machine, man. That means say uh, you know believe in uh, the Almighty strongly. You know supposed to have machine, virgin. You know what I mean? No, pastor no fi have them thing, the virgin. Superintendent of police in charge of Portland, Lloyd Darby, told our news team that division continues that the division continues to make progress in getting weapons off the street. Of note. The second seizure is the recovery of that Glock pistol which was stolen in Bascobel St. Mary from the pastor and justice of the peace. Two men were taken into custody including the suspect name including the suspect name the division has seized seven firearms compared to four last year. We continue to engage citizens of the parish to partner with the police in crime fight, Darby said. Reveal that a snap raid was carried out in Shoeberry, Portland about 10.45 a.m. Sunday, September 23, 2023. A male of Shoeberry District, Portland was taken into custody and a firearm recovered. The recovered GUN is a Glock 23 pistol with one magazine and 13 9mm cartridges was found in a black suitcase in a bedroom occupied by the accused man so why them write over about this virgin and i confuse people them not just say this up Cha, what do them people here man got them just um give that information in the same article and come say the same thing again so guys let me know what you think in the comment section and please give me a thumbs up people give me a thumbs up on this right and the next thing I'm going to share with you people, this is a sad one. A father, you know what I mean, drop out after him you drop out in a house fire. You see me I say? So this is an update because the first article where them put out, the father did that hospital, uh, you know what I mean, a fight the fight, but him end up lose, you see me, and drop out. So father succumbed to injuries from Portmore house fire. Jaja. 40 year old Sherman Williams, the father of, th of the 3 year old boy who was KILL -L in a fire last night in Portmore Garden, St. Catherine, has also lost his battle. Right? He succumbed to his injury a short while ago in hospital 
It is reported that Williams and his son Cleon had gone to bed when neighbors saw a ball of fire coming from the back room they occupied about 11 p.m. The fire brigade was called and firemen then forced their way inside and saw the father lying by the door that was locked from the inside. He was clutching his son in his arms a spokesman at the Waterford fire station said investigation will have to be conducted to determine the cause of the fire. Jaja, it's sad people, you know what I mean? The man's son dropped out in his arms. You see it? Look like him could get to the door if you pull the door and escape out of the house judge why that's sad r.i.p to both of them you know what i mean and condolences to the family so people a wanted man person of interest get caught up and drop out in a whole arbor right by the police all of a person of interest k-i-l-l in alleged confrontation with police a man was a man who was reportedly a person of interest in a case of m-u-r-d-e-r was s-h-o-t and him three points take after he allegedly challenged a police party in all of saint catherine on Wednesday morning, he has been identified as Daniel Ferguson, otherwise called Fry, 20, um, 26 year old of Sok what place name? Sakaba, Sokaba Gardens, Old Arbor. Uh, it is reported that about 6 a.m., a police team from the St. Catherine South Division went to Sokaba Gardens and a targeted raid. Ferguson allegedly fired on the police from a house. He was challenged by the police and was hit. The police say he was found clutching a Glock pistol which was loaded with several rounds. A further search resulted in the alleged seizure of a .22 revolver and 22 rounds of ammunition Ferguson and a woman who was also in the house and suffered a GUNSHOT injury to the leg during the incident were taken to hospital where Ferguson dropped out and the woman was admitted the independent commission of investigations has launched a probe into the matter so me hear a vlogger talk about this youth here and say he's a known you know what i mean criminal element in a whole harbor right and him have some youth where him a power with said way you see it and then clip film wing so where the youth them are go do you know what i mean i don't know where go on in a them type of situation here yeah. From the head get clip off, and next man I go rise up. You see it? Because them youth here, them not so easily stop do what them are do. You know what I mean? Because that are them way of life, and them get used to it. So no matter what happen to them leader, them just are going to continue the trend. And that are going to go on. You see me? But them to learn from this way happen, and change them life you see it simple as that you know what i mean so guys please like up the video you know what i mean click the like button and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and click the top bell icon to get notified when anything new is on the channel so people the can in we go on of the four person in a crawl in St. Catherine. 
the police say them say boy right now them I look past some theories as to what could have caused the clappings right and word on the street is that one of the person who got taken out them husband or boyfriend drop out and it caused a little argument between that person and the husband or boyfriend side of family and it looked like say at that cause wagwan figuan seen and why them take out the three other person why them do that them could have made them go on just like how they make the youth them go on too you understand me i say just like how they make the five picnic them go on about them business me now say them should have do nothing still you know but me i say if a one person them after why them not just deal with the one person and left everybody else and that's why no people you see if certain things cause a contention between you and evil family it best you just take away yourself from the situation you know what i mean because most of the time when them something you happen are assets and money them are fight over i understand so let me read what the police them are saying Police pursuing two main theories in Kral Quadruple M U R D E R. The police are pursuing two or three lines of inquiry regarding the quadruple dropout in Kral District Riversdale in St. Catherine on Tuesday. Sources tell our news center that the incident is related to a dispute involving Kerryan Higgins Mackard, one of the four victims and the family of her recently deceased common law husband so you saw me i tell you no people it is rumored that he was pi sand chaja you hear what going people them pi the the husband allegedly but the woman never depend on the island in a people so i couldn't she do it you understand so them i say boy i that happened to him them i go find out at the end of the day you know because them i figure do a autopsy upon the body and that i go relieve uh, that i go reveal the cause of death so why it cause a contention and the autopsy not do it and what caused him to drop out no reveal it until he reached to four person losing them three points it should have reached so far over a rumor that theory was put to head of the area five police division assistant commission gary griffiths seen um acp griffiths say mr mccart had gone to the riversdale police station shortly after she oh mrs mistress mcgard had gone to the riversdale police station shortly after she returned to the island on monday the three other oh, the, oh all right so people may have some um clippings me I go play them because maybe them can explain because I don't see some of my things them. Um, so me I go play the voice clippings and I want to know, tell me if you don't hear. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is one of your two theories related to an accusation that the man who died last Friday was poisoned? That is one thing out there and of course we're looking into that. The postmortem has not yet been done with that is 
one direction we're looking. We reported based on what we picked up on the ground that Mrs. McGrath may have had a very, very bad feud with her husband's side of the family. Uh, is, is that what your investigators are picking up early in the piece? I, I'm not aware of that, but just to say that our intelligence community is getting that there was some concern that um, Craig Blake, that the common law husband, could have been poisoned. So, um, of course, we're looking at that. I don't know if there was a few. That so, we have our next voice clippings. May I go make a year again? I know she has made, um, she has spoken to the Riversdale police, and as a matter of fact, prior to her being killed, shortly after she came back from overseas, I learned that she had discussion with um, a police at the station. W so I know that there were some issues. Was it as far as, did she make a report about anything to the police? Not that we are aware of. You know, I don't know if her discussion was relative to her deceased common laws, but or if it was relative to what you're saying about um, the feud, I don't know. I'm yet to ascertain that. So yeah, people, it look like a lot of things need to unfold in other cases, yeah, right? So, may I go stay in the loop and uh, anything will pop up, me share with you guys, right? So, me don't know if the wife or common law wife accuse our husband our common law husband family side of poisoning him or them accuse her side of family of poisoning him so some clarity need to go on yes yeah, so you understand me i say and as soon as there's any update i'm gonna share it with you guys so stay tuned right and guys please subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber right and click the top bell icon to get notified when there is any update on the channel and remember click the thumbs up for me please and thanks you see me click the thumbs up for me so we're gonna move on to our update from beachy stout right beachy stout threaten to analyze his wife after seeing picture where she not have a not at all where she sent to a policeman one of the witness said that right a former employee of Portland businessman Everton Beachy Stout McDonald this morning testified that his boss had evidence that his second wife was cheating on him with a policeman and was sending him picture. You know what I mean? Picture with no garments on. The witness who worked at McDonald's supermarket and previously described him as the businessman's right hand during his testimony said that his ex-boss had threatened to analyze the policeman after seeing the photographs the witness recall one occasion when mcdonald summoned him and a senior security officer to his office where they went through several racy photographs of mcdonald's wife tonia in 2020 look at them at this grace here yeah. she had put me through the witness recall mcdonald saying to him when asked by the prosecutor if he knew why the businessman was saying his wife had disgraced him the witness said it was because the woman was seen navana garment in the photographs tonya was now nah mean she have no garments and me never want to look but him said look man open your eye and look he said <laughs> say man no one look upon the woman after the boss has shown him who am i going to look how am to this man here 
Say boss, him never want to look when the boss has show him the picture of his wife now have on the garments, the type of picture where she has sent, go get the policeman. Right? The wife wrong for do that, man. Woman, if you are cheat, virgin, you hide them a thing, man, you know, make them something you come out. And first of all, you should not send no, no picture with you now have on the garments to nobody at all and you have a husband. That's a disrespect. You see me I say, but this man need to just leave the woman alone. Why him go take the woman three points? You see me? It's easy if you say still some of the time, you know, people. Because when love involves a different thing, you know. Alright. Ask what he did. The witness said, me look. Me have to look. The witness said, Tonya was also seen without no garment in a screenshot of a FaceTime call with the policeman who was in Navano Garment Snyder in his bathroom. There was another in which they were seen out together drinking from a glass, from one glass with separate straws. Now nah, man, this a wife yeah, disgraceful for real man. She did a go on bad people. She did a go on bad. She did a go on bad. You not do them things there when you have a husband bridging. You not do them things there. What kind of disrespect that to the marriage and to your husband? But that not give him the right for the way him do still, you know. But him should have just cut all ties with the woman. You know what I mean? But maybe him a look upon him say, if him left the woman here and divorce her, she a go get half of everything. You see what I mean? I say? Boy, people. Sometimes you have to be careful about this marriage thing, you know. Cause you see, if, me tell you, you see, if one of the opportunity, me not feel like say people forget married, because I just piece of paper. You know what I mean? It's just a title. Being married no means say you love this person more. You know what I mean? Than when you're not married to the person, you still can show the same amount of love to the person all when you're not married. So if I not fall, you fall in love with a person and the only way you and the person can live together after married, if I know that way there, I don't feel say you really have to get married. Like see a person overseas meet somebody in a Jamaica and them really love each other and them have to get married. Okay, me see the sense in that one there. But marriage, I don't know. To each his own, yeah, man. The witness testified that McDonald had previously asked him if he knew that Tonya was having an affair with a policeman, but he didn't answer. Apart from McDonald's constant complaints about his wife being unfaithful, the witness said his former boss also complained that she was lazy in their supermarket and was not keeping the home clean. McDonald and his co accused Oscar Barnes, are on trial for the july 20 2020 m-u-r-d-e-r of his wife tonya tonya's partially burnt body was found with her neck back inside her car along a deserted road in sherwood forest in portland why people me not lie the wife doing bad you see me I say? The wife do him bad. And him do feel wife bad to him first wife. Because people say are the second wife cause the marriage with the first wife will mash up and him end up allegedly got dirt him first wife. Farther, you know what I mean? Then forward to know. This a wife ya give him trouble because from in a school days he ma deal with this a wife ya. So you know say she no live no type of party, lego and choose, pick choose and refuse life yet. You know what I mean? She no sleep around yet. And you know what I mean? Cause in a your young days in a ya fi have multiple girlfriend or boyfriend you know. And just know say you've been through that you know and when you're ready in your 30s or late 20s you can settle down and be with one person. But if you start off in a marriage 
from your young, you go curious and want to go out the road. You know what I mean? Not everybody do them thing they're still in about. Fem wife obviously did that do it. So him just did need for just let her go make she live her life. Because from once a woman not really faithful. Once a woman not faithful and she have an ex man out there. She gonna love the man the more than you. Because woman not cheat for pleasure, you know. Woman cheat because of love. Remember me telling you that. You say if a woman cheat, I love she love the man the way she cheat with. She prefer the man there over you. You have to know that as a man. And no matter what you do, you can't go stop that woman from choosing that man over you. Man, we step out of them relationship because of pleasure, you know. Go back to them wife and them family. But woman, when them step out, remember me tell you, say, I love make them step out. So people, let me know what you think in the comment section. Right? So, we are going to move on now, people. So the triple knockings were going in a grand spin. They must say, a over machine allegedly and a and a grand spin in a chisholm all right so let me show you this now stolen gun led to saint andrew triple knockings cop says a stolen machine is reportedly at the center of the knockings and clappings of two brothers and their cousin which occurred on Chisholm Avenue, St. Andrew, on Saturday morning. Police and residents have revealed that three men who were SHOT and them drop out by GUN men were being told to return RP for a machine which another family member had stolen almost two years ago. G-U-N men posing as cops, M-U-R-D-E-R, three men in the wee hours of the morning. Two brothers and their cousin, K-I-L-L, in Chisholm Avenue, Triple, Nackins. They were identified as 20, 28-year-old Mason, Arlanda Ricketts, 31-year-old Nava Fata Ricketts, also a Mason, and Ricardo Dwight Henry, otherwise called Rasta, 48 year old delivery man. The deceased were all from 69 Chisholm Avenue in Kingston 13. The Ricketts were brothers and Henry was their cousin, the police said. Our news team understand that the now deceased men had a family member who stole a machine about two years ago. That family member was K I L L. But the machine was never returned. Since then, residents and police have said GUN men have been harassing the now deceased men over the missing machine, requesting that they return one R one R P for the stolen machine. Things reportedly came to a head on Saturday when the GUN men took the three men from their home and K-I-L-L them execution style at another premises. Police have reported that around 1.15 a.m. three men armed with talop talop and posing as police officers entered the premises and took the three men from their dwelling house. It was further reported that the G-U-N men led them at G-U-N point to another dwelling house on the premises where they opened GUN fire, eating all three men in the upper body and KILLING them on the spot. The GUN men then made their escape on foot in the area, several 5.56 mm and 9 mm spent casing were found at the scene. The Police said. So people, them say, 
a family member, thief a machine, take away himself. Me a hear say, them end up pay for the machine in a people. Allegedly. And the man them still take the three points. You know what I mean? So the man them take the man with thief the machine three points. No, the brother and the cousin now. The man take the man them take for them three points also. I heard on the streets say boy them get some money allegedly for the machine where the man did thief. You know what I mean? But you don't know them thing they got. Sometimes some man no care. Adjust the principle. You can't take certain man things in the first place. So they are going to make an example out of you. You understand me? I say people. So we are going to move on. Body, a 43 year old woman found near church in Sherwood content, Trelawney. The bar. D, a 43 year old woman was found in the vicinity of the Baptist Church on Bottom Road in Sherwood, Canton, Trelawney, yesterday. She has been identified as Megan Golden of Rosalie Avenue, Kingston 11. Reports, that, uh, reports are that about 12.15 a.m. Golden was found with a sharp wound to the head and a machete beside the body the falmouth criminal investigation branch is probing the incident charger so where this 43 year old woman could have done for that happen to her you see when you see some of them thing your people when you see woman get um K I L L like that. Some of the time you have to look to a ex man or a jealous boyfriend. You know what I mean? That are the first place you have to look. You see it. But she did have a machete beside her lying, you know what I mean? Without no L I F E. So, it look like say, maybe she did have that for defend herself. But the person, you know what I mean? Overcome her and take her three points. So, guys, I want to tell me what you think in the comment section. You know? I want to like the video and subscribe to the channel and click the top bell icon to get notified when anything new is on the channel